All right, starting over. Uh, let's see, we'll use blue today. We'll start with the trapezoid. 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 Look how it's spelled. The trapezoid would be T R A P A Z O I D. So the trapezoid. Does anybody have any idea what a trapezoid looks like? Come here. Draw one and label it, please. What do, you mean, what do you mean my hand? I can't use my hand. Today. That was a joke. I know, like, can I erase it? Yeah, go ahead. Which one? I don't know, you're a fart smell. I figured it out. Not that one. Not that one. Anyways, uh, all right, um, just like yesterday, we need a definition then. What makes trapezoid a trapezoid? Now we heard enough out of you. Put your hand down. Take a break today. Let's hear from some other people. Like Patricia. You know what a trapezoid is? Good, nice start. It's quadrilateral. Um, two Just two. That's actually really good. Uh, instead of saying two, I'm going to say one pair of parallel sides. Is that okay? One pair of parallel sides. Good. And notice it says one pair, not at least one pair. And notice she said quadrilateral, not parallelogram. Is a trapezoid a parallel? Or sorry, is a trap? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Is a trapezoid a parallelogram? Yes, no, you got it covered. Yes, you forgot maybe. No. Okay, so a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Is a parallelogram a trapezoid? Good. Now here's the fun part, where does it fit in here? Sneak it in here, that would mean then the parallelograms are traceless. Part of my back side. So off a of parallelogram? But that would mean then the traces are parallelograms, which you told me they're not. Quadrilateral, but it's not a parallelogram. Do we do we put this back? No, just like that. That's fine. 
Everybody else, that's fine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Good job. Okay, good. So there's our definition. Uh, now we need some properties. What, what else is true about a trapezoid? Other than the fact that it has one pair of parallel sides. You said. The other pair of sides are Nope. Doesn't have to be. I'm sorry? You don't like that answer? No, I'm, no, I'm just saying, how could it not be? Oh, yeah, my bad. my bad. He's talking about something different. That's our second shape, which we'll get to in a second. Okay. Yes, but is that special for a trapezoid, or is that true for all quadrilaterals? Do we put it down there? Good answer. Anything else? No? Okay, just for uh, discussion purposes, by the way, these parallel sides in a trapezoid are called bases. So that's a base, and that's a base. Uh, these guys, the non-parallel sides are called legs, kind of like an isosceles triangle. The figure has four angles, but the angles that are connected to the same base are base angles, and the other angles connected to the same base are also base angles. That gets a little confusing, but K, J, K and angle K and angle J are considered base angles because they're attached to the same base. Angle H and I are corresponding base angles. Um, and you know, I didn't want to do that. Let's do it this way, and twink, and is there any relationship between angle K and angle J in the trapezoid? No, that's why I marked them the same way. Is there any relationship between angle H and I in the trapezoid? No, that's why I marked them that way. Is there any relationship between uh, angles J and I in the trapezoid? I meant go ahead to her, like I was encouraging her to go with her answer. But oh, I thought you Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. Why are they supplementary, Jan? Because um, angle H, or line A, HI and um, KJ are parallel, so then. So what kind of angles are angle I and J other than supplementary? What other pairs? Uh, linear. Nope. Huh? Adjacent. Nope. Consecutive interior. Good. Consecutive interior. Regardless, they're supplementary. Okay. How do we say that? Non base adjacent angles are supplementary. Supplementary. Okay. Since we've done a ton of work with the diagonals, I think we need to look at a diagonal in a trapezoid. So let's go with something that looks like this. What can you tell me about the diagonals in that trapezoid? Go. Are the diagonals not equal? They are not equal, correct. Anything else? They do not form the midpoint. So you're telling me all the things that they're not, but we want the things oh. that they are. Right, because you could say, well, they're not grizzly pears. They're not blue. Oh, no, sorry. They're not red. They're not peppermint flavored. How do you know that? Sure. Have you tried it? Have you tasted it? Maybe it is. But maybe. I'm good. I'm, I'm uh, not going to prove him wrong. Yeah. Do it for him, dog. I'm good. Good guess, but they do not in this case. There's actually nothing exciting about a diagonal. In fact, the trapezoid itself is a pretty boring shape. It's got two pairs of parallel sides, it's got some supplementary angles, and boom, we're done. Let's move on. How do you think that's going to differ from an isosceles trapezoid?
What do you think an isosceles trapezoid is? Turner? Trapezoid with isosceles triangles? Nope. What's an isosceles triangle? Two pairs of congruent sides. Good. So what do you think an isosceles trapezoid is? Uh, trapezoid with two pairs of congruent sides. Perfect. <laughs> you know which sides are congruent? The bases or the legs? The, the, the legs. The legs. So it's what most people would envision a trapezoid looking like. Isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid, trapezoid with congruent legs. And how about those crazy diagonals? What appears to be the case with those diagonals? Are they perpendicular? No. No. Do they bisect each other? Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Yes. Maybe. No. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Take the maybe. No. Yes. Take the maybe. No. Yes. No. It's not maybe. Take the yes. Yes. No. Yes. Take the yes. No. No. No, take the maybe. What? No, take the maybe. No, yes, yes, maybe. No, yes, the maybe. No, yes, the maybe. No. Maybe yes? No. Maybe yes, yes. No. Maybe no. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. No. Do they appear to bisect? No. Do they bisect? No. No. Anything exciting about those diagonals? No. Yes. 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 Oh, I know. Maybe. I know. No. Yeah. No. Maybe. No. Yes. No. <laughs> All right. Um, Anything about those diagonals? They do. Just get more. What do you got? Well, I, would, I guess she's kind of further on. But like, I was going to say if the middle point was like being. Okay, let's call that S. Okay. Yeah. Then you could say that like TS and RS are equal to each other. Ooh, TS and R. Is that what you were talking about? Were you talking TS and SA or TS and SR? How about TS and because they don't bisect each other. Mm -hmm. You're suggesting, however, that TS is congruent to SR. SR? Would that make SP congruent to SA? Yeah. Okay, so if TS is equal to SR and SP is congruent to SA, what does that tell you about the diagonals? If these little guys are congruent, and these little guys are congruent, then the big guys are congruent, and therefore the diagonals are congruent. And yes, you're right, it does, the diagonals, I don't know how to phrase this, they don't bisect each other, but they do cut them, cut each other into the same proportion? Yeah, yeah good enough. Matt? Uh, would Triangle TSP means triangle RSA. Hot diggity. Hey, Matt? Yeah. Would triangle TSR be congruent to triangle PSA? No. no. It's only one. <laughs> no. 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 Yes. No. No. Yes. No. 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 Possibly. That's a good safe answer. Oh, we got the parallels here. We also got the supplementary angles. Um, uh, hey, let's go. Hold on. Let's go back to this. If I get rid of this diagonal business. 
We know because it's a trapezoid, we know that angle R is supplementary to angle A, and we know that angle T is supplementary to angle P. Is there any other angle relationship in there? No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. And? Base angles, whoops, angles are congruent. I think we're good with that. Last shape. Last quadrilateral we're going to talk about is a kite. Kite. Like a thing you fly? Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to a small kite? Yeah. Which one would you prefer? Small kite. Yeah, that's good. That'll be real easy to work with. So we've got a kite. Small kite. For those of you that are... Just ignore that little thing hanging on there. Okay. Like all the others, we need a definition. Oh, hold on. Before we move on, let's go back here. Where does the isosceles trapezoid fit in? has proposed that that's a quadrilateral, not a parallelogram, before we get started with the definition. Because we want to start it with a quadrilateral, that blah, 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 or a parallelogram, that blah, blah, blah. Do you agree or disagree? That's a quadrilateral. She's suggesting it's a quadrilateral, not a parallelogram. Yeah. You... Shut up. Really? Alright, real quick, watch this. Bum, 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 bum. That's enough to get you started. Yes, no, maybe they took all of our time off. And last thing, kite would fit off of quadrilateral, off on the side. Yeah. Not attaching to a quadrilateral. I mean, not attaching to a parallel. Group. All right. Wait, so where would it go? So that you write a quadrilateral. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just what exactly where trace is, but on the other side. Got it. It's like the most boring. Huh? Hey. What? Hey. I can't hear you. You got headphones in. What? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Have a nice day. You have a better. That is real. Shut up. <laughs> Is going to be on the... the you guys have that there? That's Boji, right? This? this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Sarah. Have a great day. What's up? Let's go. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. Uh, stop the